Hi, Maliti Vijay Kumar welcoming you once again to Mean Man Cooks. In today's episode, we are going to see a red snapper fish fry. Let's go see the ingredients. We have taken 4 medium sized red snapper, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste, a teaspoon of fresh ajwain leaves soaked in lemon juice, a teaspoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of pepper powder, rice flour for dredging, half a teaspoon garam masala powder, salt to taste. Mean man curry chilli powder 2 to 3 teaspoons, oil for shallow frying. We will do the marination in two stages. So let's take a look at the first stage of marination. Make gashes like this on all the four pieces. Take a sharp knife. If it's a larger fish, make two such gashes diagonally like this and in the opposite diagonal again two more. This will help the marinade to seep in and give the taste for the entire fish and not only on the outer. Now I am going to show you very clearly how you need to make the gashes. If you hold the fish this way, this gash on the front side visible to you is coming in this direction. So the gash on the other side of the fish should be in this direction. That enables the fish to retain its shape and not break. The ingredients for the marinade, I will uh, mix them all in this. About half a spoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon of lemon juice, a few fresh uh, karpuravalli or ajwain leaves chopped fine and soaked in lemon juice, about a teaspoon of table salt, two to three teaspoons of mean man curry chili powder and about half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. Now let's blend all the ingredients. Just a few drops of oil to the marinade. And now we'll add water to make a paste of it. Don't make it too watery. Now let's apply this to the fish on both sides. You need to use your pretty fingers, no choice. So wash your hands well. Let's see how to apply the makeup on the fish. Now let's fill the gashes first and apply to the whole fish like a mud bath. Now flip it again in the gash first and now for the entire fish. Repeat with all the other remaining fish on the inside as well. Through the gashes it will seep but to ensure the inside is not too bland, let's cover that also. The marinated fish has rested for over 30 minutes. So now let's go to the second marinade. It's more a dredging. I've taken rice flour, about 3 teaspoons. I'll take it in a shallow bowl and add a teaspoon of pepper powder to it. I have to use my fingers. So let's mix it well. Don't coat it too much, but coat it on all sides. This should do. Don't forget the head. Okay. Repeat the dredging for the other three fish as well. After dredging the fish in the uh, rice flour and pepper powder, let it rest for another half an hour and then fry it nice and crisp. The marinated fish has rested for another half an hour. The tawa is on the gas. So now let's go and see how to fry them nice and crisp. It's hot. So I'm adding some oil.
the oil is also hot now let's gently place the fish one at a time fry it on a very low flame don't flip the fish till the first side has browned well then gently turn them over so that the other side also browns see this is how it should be <coughs> now we can drizzle a little oil on the fish it's looking very dry so we can drizzle a little oil the excess marinade will go into this hot oil you can have it along with your steamed rice don't discard the excess marinade add it to the oil and fry for some time and serve it along with your fried fish i'd like to thank sayed bhai at kare kodi who shared this recipe with me maybe 30 years back haven't forgotten it it's a big hit in my family do try it friends i'm sure you like it the ideal ideal fish for this is the red snapper but you want to try it with another fish try it and give me your feedback so that i took and try it i'm sure this has motivated you to cook do try it and give your feedback for the recipe click on minman.com for all your non veg requirements as well click on minman.com and place your orders uh, do follow us on fit that is facebook instagram and twitter i'm sure you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed showing it to you thank you